Swedish ballerina cookies. Ooh. Oh, oh, My I... girlfriend's a ballerina. Fair enough. <laughs> she's she's lives in Canada. She's real. Oh my god. I, I write to her every day on um, Skype. <laughs> Ballerina cookies made with real ballerina. Are they all just shaped like ballerinas, but it's just your standard uh, vanilla or chocolate or, you know, mm. big rolls. I just feel like the Swedes will do it right. They will. Yeah, they do everything right, don't they? Like road systems and forestation. Have you ever been to Sweden? No. Me neither. I'm still just picturing it like a pretty pr ballerina with a pointed leg, do you know? Like doing a little, little spin, you know, a little skirt. Like a very fancy gingerbread man. Jammy Dodgers, don't That's they? That's what I was going to say, they're like chocolate jammy Dodgers. Oh wow, yeah. They kind of look like nipples though, don't they? <laughs> ballerina nipples, woo! Except not really, because ballerinas can't eat any calories at all. There, That's the, this is the brow of comedy I've oh, There we go. High brow comedy here to try channel. <laughs> gonna get some backlash for this one. <laughs> so yeah, this, is this just chocolate? It looks like little buttholes, actually. Like, you know, no! Like a cat's butthole, you know? We're sticking with nips. I'd rather touch nips than cat buttholes. <laughs> um, Can you twist them? Oh yeah, can you? They're very, very, very tight. Yeah, there's no no Oreo no. fun with these. No. It's thumbnail time. What Ooh. have I seen you make? Mmm. They're not bad. They're really nice. They're really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Very chocolatey. I think the cat had just the right amount of fiber. <laughs> I like the nutty, creamy filling. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like, it's like Nutella. It's Nutella, isn't it? It's hazelnut yeah. chocolate. Man, I it's dig this. this this would be great with a cup of coffee. It's really hazelnutty. Tea and coffee oh. have ruined biscuits for me. I can't eat, <laughs> I can't drink coffee without a biscuit to dip in it, and I can't eat a biscuit without making a coffee dip in it. So like the two are just symbiotically involved with each other now. Because it is creamy, the inside's quite creamy, and then the outside's kind of crunchy, like you know those um, biscuits you get in a tin in your granny's? Yeah, I would I would eat this 100%. I would eat way too many of these. Where are these from? Sweden. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's the name of the video. So out of 10, what are these getting? I'm gonna give it a seven. Seven? I wanna, I wanna see what else Sweden throws at us here. You're a heart man to impress, I, Richard. I've always said it. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, you gotta leave the bar up here until something reaches it. Really good. Fab. I love them. Hey, you got it. This is what like a pirate would flip if he lived in Candyland. <laughs> He's gonna be lemon, cause the bang a lemon off them. Are they pineapple? Is that, a, what is it? Ananas, that must be pineapple. Is it ananas? Is ananas bananas? Ananas, yeah, banana flavor. Oh, ananas. Oh. Pineapple. pineapple. Oh yeah, cause it's like uh, anais. No, these are much more nip-like because we've got literally like the shapes, do you know? Yeah. Even the back, both both sides. There's like a shape on the, on yeah, the package. So it it, it kind of looks egg flavored. Oh my God. Could it be egg flavored? Pineapple, pineapple coconut. coconut. Tropical biscuits. I don't know anything that summarizes uh, British colonialism <laughs> like <laughs> tropical flavored biscuits. I like the design, it's very pretty. Like these are the ones you'd organize into a little pattern before yes. you present them. One more time. Ooh! Oh, that one went quite high. Now what? Do you have anything like, higher? Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, those are great. Okay. I'll check back. I really like it. I really don't. Okay. It unexpectedly chewy. It's like a jammy dodger. These are exotic. I'm digging them. Yeah. There's a good bite to them. The chewy bit pulls the crumbs together. What do you like about it? I like that it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> you haven't eaten the middle bit I yet. I know, I know. I'm That's bit by bit. Okay. Like Oreo style it. You'll get No the... way. Look at that. Mmm. Luxury. Like, they look really fancy, but if you were to bring them out at a dinner party, people would be crumbling all over the place, all over your new carpet. I think it's okay. Really? Mm -hmm. the, the worst biscuit I've ever had in my life. Mm. Conflict is drama. I expected more coconut flavor. Like, the flavor's there, but it's very subtle. And I like coconut as well. I'll notice if it's there, mm -hmm. you know? Do you not get the really strong smell of pineapple? It's taste of pineapple, though. Only now that you've said it, and it, <laughs> do, it doesn't bother me. I, okay, do you like pineapple? No. No, I don't mind it, but... Who doesn't? I don't think I've ever met someone who doesn't like pineapple before. I don't mind it. I don't have it that often. No, I think I'd go for the chocolate ones, generally. What if we get both mm -hmm. and we cut them in half and we make like a triple decker sandwich kind of thing? That'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be cool. It tastes horrible, but it'd be cool. I'd be up for that. I mean, it's a science experiment. Oh my goodness. This cat did not get enough fiber. I've never seen jelly so dark. Oh, this looks Ooh. interesting. Blood. <laughs> Hallen and Larkets. 
Mm. Lacrets. Well, they're surely raspberries anyway, are they? Do Just I, raspberry? Dark chocolate and raspberry, I think. Oh. Oh, what raspberry and licorice. Is that what that is? Yeah. It is licorice. Is it? It is licorice. It's actually. That is licorice. The little glory hole part of it's always a bit off-putting. Uh, what is up with the Swedish and the black man. licorice? Did they invent it? They bloody did, didn't they? Oh. Hmm. Because I only nibble on things, I haven't got to the center yet. <laughs> I need to get better at just taking a big bite. I think that the raspberry and the blueberry together really complement each other. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty dope. Well, wait, no, 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 hang on. It's not blueberry. Oh, there. Yeah. Oh. It's a little bit there, a little aniseed. It's like tar. Oh no, there's something really stuck. <laughs> oh no, that's horrible. <laughs> oh no. Is it licorice? I can't get rid ah. of the licorice from my teeth. Oh, it's just poisoned a whole lot. Nasty, nasty. Patty Murphy, not a licorice fan. Ooh. I think it's really nice actually, because it's only like a little spot. You don't feel like it's over, actually, yeah. Yeah, it's over taken the whole mouth. Yeah. Icklig. Icklig is what they say in Swedish. Icklig is Ick disgusting. Icklig, do what icklig. Why would you put raspberry and licorice together? It's so weird. It is, but I mean, they did it with pineapple and coconut, so these guys are mad bastards. They are, aren't they? It's not a good combination at all. Just like licorice with anything is a bad combination. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, my teeth are just kind of like gelled together. <laughs> This is my lunch, so I'm gonna eat them regardless of what they taste like. <laughs> I'm a fan overall, because I feel like they picked flavors that were challenging for the consumer. Uh, the best for me was the, um, not the first one, the, not the chocolate one, the... Mango. The pineapple. Pineapple, <laughs> you can't even remember. Like if I move my tongue from one side to the other, it's like a full mm. spiral of flavors. That's probably why ballerinas like them, because they can eat it, and then when they're dancing, have a little nibble. Mm. All right, come on, we need, yeah, all right. So after listening to all this sweet house music, you should like this video, click subscribe, keep going! Make a comment about your favorite house track. <laughs> Tell us who your favorite EDM DJ is, bro, and subscribe.